Good day class. On this video, we are going to study the different manifestations of the pulse as well as their indications. So the first one is floating pulse. The floating pulse, it is located at a superficial level. Feels clear at a superficial level with light pressure and gets slightly less forceful when pressure heavily. So which means when you feel this kind of pulse, you put your fingers on top of the chico area. So just imagine here is your is the patient's arm and then when you feel you put a very light pressure, you can feel the, the pulse. And then as you press more, you feel less. So that's why it gets slightly less forceful when pressed heavily. That's the characteristics of floating pulse. The indications of floating pulse indicates an acterious or deficiency syndrome. So the syndrome or the in future sometimes they it translates as pattern and an acteria or deficiency pattern. It means exactly the same. And gradually, although we didn't we haven't introduced the acteria pattern or deficiency pattern, we're going to study in after the diagnostic. But gradually, until now, you should have a general idea of what's an arterial. So arterial is opposite to interior. Efficiency is opposite to excess. So these terms are from yin and yang terms. The reason why floating pulse indicates an arterial syndrome or pattern, that's because Compared with the deep area, so here's the arm, the superficial and deeper, this here is the radial bones. So from superficial to deeper, when it goes to deeper, it is from, compared with the deeper area, the superficial is anterior, anterior and deeper, which, that's why Acterious pattern also can cause superficial pattern. So superficial can indicate superficial pattern. So when we study this manifestations, indications, as as well as the analysis in the last slide, last slide, you're going to understand why. That's very important. So the reason why it can indicate an anterior syndrome. That's because the floating pulse stay in superficial. The superficial of the, the pulse, the superficial of the wrist, the superficial of the radial artery is also the superficial of the, the body. So that's why the indication, the anterior so which means if you feel the pulse from the pulse you feel that the pulse it feel like floating you can feel in superficial le level and then as you press more you feel less and in the meantime the patient have like horse sound, sound horse sound have run running nose over you to cold and with pale tongue in this situation, you can conclude to the pattern that the patient suffer from wind cold attack. The reason is because the, the pulse can indicate superficial and indicate anterior, and also the patient have the anterior symptoms. So the feeding is very similar if you put a piece of wood in the water, when you press the wood, you, when you press slightly, you can feel, but as you press more, the wood can go 
deep and then you feel less. So that kind of feeling. As I said before, that's the pulse diagnosis is a bit difficult. The reason is we always use this kind of descriptions to describe the feelings. So from the study of this, this session, you need to fo follow my instruction and you need to think about the image in your brain. What kind of feeling? Try to describe, try to imagine the, the feeling from your finger. Voluptin pulse is present as the early stage of exogenous diseases, invasive of, of the exogenous pathogen factors in the superficial body results in way defensive qi move to superficial area. You see the reason for this. A floating pulse, you can feel at the superficial level, is an early stage of the exogenous diseases. Why? Because of the exogenous pathogens, the exogenous factors going to affect the superficial of the body. So it, it doesn't go deep or it hasn't go deep, it's still in superficial level. And when the pathogen affects our body in the superficial level, the way defensive qi, our body also going to fight with the exogenous pathogens. And then the way defensive qi will fight the exogenous pathogens in the superficial body. So as the way defensive qi move to the superficial body, the qi also move to superficial. That's why from the pulse, we can feel the pulse is very superficial and right under the skin. So that's the indications of superficial. Floating pulse. A floating pulse, a large and weak pulse, if occurred in patients with disabilities due to chronic diseases. Also, why a floating pulse, large and weak pulse, indicates the disabilities due to chronic diseases. For a chronic diseases, a weak patient with very weak body constitution. The qi and blood should suppose to stay in the body, in the organs, to nourish the organs, because this person they don't have enough qi and blood to nourish the whole body, the weak condition. So the weak condition, the patient, the qi and blood are supposed to stay in organs. But now you can feel the floating pulse. The qi and blood goes to the superficial. The reason why the qi and blood goes to the superficial. You can think about in the basic theories, although some of the information we haven't introduced, we're going to introduce in the differentiation method, but there's some information in the basic theories. We, we have talked about the true and false yin and yang, the indepleted. Yang depleted, it goes to superficial, You're losing the essential yin and yang. That's why it becomes severe, especially in the chronic condition. If in a chronic patient, chronic disease patient, you feel the floating pulse, you also need to be careful that the yin and yang of the body, of the patient, is it logically some patients, so skinny patients tend to have a floating pulse. The reason is because the body fat. The patient doesn't have a lot of body fat. That's why you can feel in very superficial level. Also, floating pulse is more common in autumn. That's the, due to the change, theological changes from the seasons. So from here, a firm patient, a firm person, tend to have a floating pulse. So does it mean that all firm patients will have a floating pulse? So this question is quite tricky. 
although the film pressure tend to have a floating pulse, but this floating pulse may have different standards according to the patient, which means a floating pulse you can feel on this film patient, but for this patient specifically, this floating pulse sometimes it may not be a floating pulse. That's because the abnormal condition you need to compare person not compared with the standard from the textbook. Although from the study we give you the standards, as we always need to focus on the common or the normal situation of the person their self, not from the standard. Okay, so the floating, whether floating or not, you're going to compare with the patient yourself scatter the pulse scatter the pulse by the way the the name in the brackets is the Chinese name San Mai so Mai is the pulse scatter the pulse scatter the pulse is a superficial without root with a light pressure it it is irregularly and Chaotic. The heavy pressure is in a payable, floating, forceless, and uneven in rhythm with a scattered, scattered and rootless impression. It's only palpable in superficial level with little pressure. So why we put these two together, the reason is the scattered pulse also superficial. You can feel a very superficial level. For the floating pulse, when you press more, you still can feel, but you feel less. Scattered pulse, when you press, you don't feel. So you only feel in a superficial level. When you, when you press more, you feel there's no pulse. It indicates the dispersion of Yuan, quite modular qi, or qi erosion of the Zhangfu organs. The reason is why when you press more, you don't feel because the, the body doesn't have enough qi and blood. So it, it only flows on top. When you press, you're going to press the vessels down directly so there's no blood coming through. The description of without root, what kind of feeding is without root? So in the other books they describe that this kind of pulse, how does it feel like? Now you can imagine the flowers here. The flowers is losing. And now you can you try to touch the flower. You can feel that the flower is there, but as you press the flowers moves. So that's the feeling without roots. You can feel something but when you press more, there's nothing there. So that's just another way to describe this. When you press more, there's nothing. Scattered pulse is often present in critical condition with extremely qi deficiency, qi and blood deficiency. The next pulse is the hollow pulse. The hollow pulse or cold mind. The hollow pulse feels superficial, large, but empty in the center, like a spring onion stalk. So how does it look like? Still from the image, you can't see the difference. Still in the superficial level, you can feel large, large in terms of the, the shape from the so it's the, the, the width of the pulse. So large means the width of the pulse. You can feel the pulse is a, the width of the pulse is large. But when you press, you also, it also feels less. The reason why the patient will have a large empty in the center, this kind of feeling, this kind of pulse, 
That's because the body doesn't have enough blood. It's very similar to this pipe. There's not enough water in the, in the, in the pipe. So as you can see, the water, the water stays around the pipe, stays on the wall of the pipe. So when you see from the outside or when you feel from the outside, you still can feel the width still big as why the large. But because inside of the, the pipe is em empty, so when you press, you can to squeeze the, you can to squeeze the pipe. That's why it's empty. That's also exactly why the feeding is described like a spring onion stalk. Spring onion stalk, this part. Actually, the spring onion leaves. You can feel large, the thickness, the width. But so as you press, it's empty inside. So that's the feeding of hollow pulse. The indication, loss of blood and damage to in, that's because the reason why the patient will have hollowed pulse, that's because they don't have enough materials in the vessels. That's why the qi and blood stays on the wall of the vessels. So why they don't have enough materials in there, that's because of loss of blood or in deficiency damage of in. In is the fluid, blood also a kind of in. So a hollow pulse, it presents when they failing to fill the vessel. What going to fill the vessel? That's the blood or the in. Sudden blood loss, heavy blood loss, insufficient in Nutrition. So these factors can cause the yang qi flow to the surface, results in hollow and forced pulse. So when you study, you can get a piece of spring onion at home and then try to feel what kind of feeling. Zhang Zhang skin pulse, ge mai. Zhang skin pulse, also floating, rigid, hollow inside while hard on the outside. It feels like pressing on Zhang skin. So what kind of feeding is similar when you press in here, but the Zhang skin here, is, that kind of feeding should not be very tense. You can feel on top. It's still tense, but when you push, it's also empty inside. The drunk skin pulse indicates a loss of blood and essence. But it's very similar to the whole load. Possible factors may be abortion, sperm material, heavy menstruation. The drunk skin pulse is presented when antipathogenic qi fails to store essence and blood. Qi become detached and flows to exterior, exteriors, large, superficial, but empty. So as you can see, why we put these four pulse together? That's because these four pulse are similar. The reason why they're similar is because they all from superficial level. But the difference is Without with the roots or without roots, the the tense, the tension you feel on top is soft or tensioned as the as the junk skin. So that's the difference. From this session, you need to remember the descriptions, the indications and try to understand the analysis. The analysis can help you to remember better and also you need to understand in order to analyze, uh, analysis the clinical manifestations, such as if you understand from a hollow pulse, if you understand the reason why 
the patient will have hollow pulse. That's because they don't have enough qi and blood, blood, and the qi and blood stay on the wall of the, the vessels. So when you feel, you can feel superficially, and then when you press, you feel less. So in this situation, if you understand the analysis, you can remember the indications, the causes of this pulse manifestations directly. That's because of loss of the blood or indeficiency. So the next one we're going to talk about is the deep pulse. The deep pulse, it is located at a deep level and can be clearly palpated with heavy pressure. It's difficult to feel with light or moderate pressure. Indicated interior pattern if the pulse is deep and forceful indicates an, an interior excess if it's deep and weak indicates interior deficiency so this kind of pulse you can't feel in a superficial level you can't feel in the middle you only feel at the bottom so this is very similar if you just imagine that you put a, a piece of a stone in the water the stone goes to the bottom directly and then when you try to feel the stone when you push your finger you don't feel to the medium you don't feel only when you put to the deep of the of the the water the deep part the deepest part of the water then you can feel the stone so that's the a deep pulse located at the deep level so from this line, again, when you feel the pulse, superficial you don't feel, only from the deep fields, the deep area you can feel. Similar to the floating pulse, the floating pulse is superficial. The opposite to the superficial, on the contrary, is the interior. So the, the deep pulse indicates an an anterior indicates an interior pattern so that's something stay inside and when you feel it's a weak or strong the feeling the tension is a weak indicates the interior deficiency it's very strong indicates interior excess that's because when they when you feel the feeling is very strong that indicates the antipathogenic qi is fighting with the pathogenic qi that's become very strong physically obese person tend to have a deep pulse also a deep pulse is commonly in winter so that's the physiological changes so when you watch this video you can pause in between and then try to think about what kinds of feeling hidden pulse fu mai a hidden pulse is difficult to feel and require heavy pressure down to the bone so this pulse even deeper than the deep pulse so only when you feel very heavy pressure that you can feel indicates extreme stagnation of, of pathogenic fetters or severe pain when pathogenic fetters obstruct the flow of the vessel so that's why you only feel a very deep level A firm pulse is deep, excessive, stream taut, and long. So you still feel at the bottom of the of the location from the location you need to feel at the deepest area. A firm pulse is a combination of deep, wiry, large, excessive and long pulse characteristics. So Later, we're going to study. Deep, we already discussed 
or a wiry with a large with excessive or long press, press pulse. So it's a combination of these five different pulse. We call it firm pulse. Firm pulse indicates internal cold, hernia, or abnormal masses, abdominal masses. It's because the, the reason of this foam pulse is present when yang qi submerged by interior cold. It also can indicate the blastasis qi stagnation. So from this three different pulse, this from this session, on a deep pulse, a hidden pulse, a uh, firm pulse you need to identify the difference between them. They all in deep area, but the the hidden pulse is only when you press very heavily then you can feel a firm pulse apart from the deep you still can feel excessive string taut long and the width. It's large, excessive, which means very strong. The the fall is very forceful. The long pulse means it's beyond the chun guan qi three region. It's more than that. So when we study the long pulse, we will understand what's a long pulse. So that's the difference between these three. So from the, this study, it's very important to identify to remember the differences. Only if you remember the differences, you can identify in clinics what's the what's the pulse feels like. On this video, we have introduced seven different types of pulse manifestations into two categories: a floating pulse and a deep pulse. For the four floating pulse. We need to try to identify what's in common, what's special for each of them. That's the only way to identify each of them. Also, we need to remember the manifest, the, the in clinical indications. In the meantime, as we study, just try to practice more on your, on your friends, on your classmates, on your family members. The more you practice, the more sense you will make you will make from your fingers. In the next video, we're going to continue the discussion on different types of the pulse manifestations. Thank you for your attention.